welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i just came back from vacation i was in st lucia with my best friend for like six days or maybe it was a full week because our flight actually got cancelled so we were blessed with an extra day on the island we honestly had the time of our lives this the greatest time i loved st lucia so much i don't know if you could tell but i got a tan i got a really nice tan Ugh, it was such a beautiful time. I can't wait for you guys to see the vlog. I was actually reviewing the footage and I was just <laughs> feeling melancholic already about the fact that I'm back in the cold. <laughs> so excited to edit it. That video will probably go up after this one because I'm taking my time with it. It was a beautiful time so I want to make sure that I'm capturing that as I edit it and you know, I just really like taking my time with my travel videos. I don't like to rush things, but it'll definitely be up after this one. So watch out for it. I had a great time and St. Lucia was just so beautiful. I got in on a really late flight, so I haven't been able to organize my luggage or anything. It's right here on the floor and I would need to water my plants, clean my room, change my sheets and just get my life together because I start work again on Monday. So I'm using the weekend to sort my life out later today i'm going to Jeanette's house she actually just moved out recently and she's hosting a dinner today and i'm so excited she sent me the menu and i was like let me actually read you the menu okay so she's making crispy cassava skillet cakes avocado and mango salad and crab and collard rundown with whiskey sours very fancy y'all i've been having so much fun this aquarius season i'm just taking it easy and i'm not being too hard on myself for not following my upload schedule i promise after aquarius season i'll be consistent again with my weekly vlogs i kind of took a two week hiatus because i was on vacation and honestly on vacation i just like to be present but anyways y'all let us get our lives together i want to organize everything for the week since i start work on monday already so I want to make sure everything is clean and taken care of let's clean so this is the before i'm so embarrassed but it is what it is it's a complete mess and i cannot operate in messy spaces so let's clean <laughs> to sort out and then i'm gonna clean my desk with some windex and my mirrors and then clean my floor and that's pretty much it but first i'm gonna take a quick break and show you the souvenirs that i got when i was in st lucia i love showing the souvenirs that i get whenever i travel because i don't know i just find it fun <laughs> i got some seamos the seamos that i typically use that i get from amazon is actually sourced from st lucia so it's only right that i got some while i was there this one is by uncle sammy's and apparently you can get it in the u.s but i have no idea where oh there's the ig in case you are interested also got some rum this is bounty rum this is the rum that we had with most of our rum punch it's pretty good I'm giving this away to someone because I do not drink rum. Also got some lighters. They both say St. Lucia and this one says Smile Mon. <laughs> St. Lucia is known for its chocolate so I got some chocolate. Oh and it's from Mikud. I actually ended up going to a street party in this city which was really really fun. This one is 80%. 
This one is 70% and this one is 60%. And I got this cocoa stick. It's for my grandma. This is to make hot chocolate. So you just grate some or grind some into some milk. Add some cinnamon and you have some hot cocoa. Hopefully she likes it. I'm gonna give her some of these bars too. I also got some Baron hot sauce. I honestly love this so much. I had it with most of my meals when I was there. It's so good. I got this canvas bag because I'm such a bag lady. <laughs> it says St. Lucia, West Indies, and then it just has a map of the Caribbean. Look at my country right here, so beautiful. <laughs> That just took out so much. matches me right now i just did a little bit of eye makeup just some mascara eyeliner and my eyebrows no foundation this time around i'm wearing this jacket again i'm gonna leave it open in the back i'm gonna link it below again if you didn't see my birthday vlog go watch it i talk more about this jacket there not sponsored i truly love it so you're gonna see it a lot <laughs> Anyways, I actually have to hurry because my train is coming in 20 minutes and I want to stop by the liquor store and pick up a bottle of wine. I am really liking this fit a lot more than I thought I would. One thing about me, I'm going to wear a crop top in the winter time and I'm going to show my chest in the winter time. I can't help it. My friends always make fun of me. Wow, look at all these layers. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm back in New York with all these layers. I was just on somebody's beautiful island. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs>
Good morning, by the way. This was supposed to be a day in the life, but now it's gonna be a weekend in my life. So happy Sunday. <laughs> I'm making my coffee right now. Back to the vibes. <laughs> So I figured we have to do some self-care Sunday stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention the dinner last night was amazing. I actually was not expecting to be cooking. We did like three different recipes from that book, Black Food. And it has recipes from like all around the world by black people. And it gives you like a little history lesson on whatever it is you're eating, like where it comes from, how it's prepared. It has beautiful pictures and graphics. So it was great. It was a Black History Month dinner. I actually need to look into getting myself a cookbook because I need to start romanticizing cooking again. Quick recipe so that it can help me switch it up a little bit because I always make the same thing. So I think that if I like spice it up and switch it up a little bit and change up my weekly meals, I think I'll be more inspired and happy to cook. But yeah, anyways, dinner was a success. I had so much fun. Today's Sunday, so we have to do some self-care content. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of exfoliating, steaming. I just came back from vacation and from being in the sun a lot. I need to show my skin a little bit of love. So we're gonna do a facial. My skin is actually doing very good. It's very smooth. I actually have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow. Tomorrow marks my like six months I've been visiting a dermatologist and my skin has really changed so much if you're able to and you have that as a resource i highly recommend you visit one honestly i had been struggling with a lot of acne for like almost a decade like since i graduated high school and this is the clearest my skin has been in years like it's really smooth and soft and i really i'm very happy with how it's looking anyways y'all let us go do some self-care stuff and have a very relaxing evening. I want to light some candles and just relax. I need to read my book. That's another thing. I am committing myself to read more this year. I used to love reading so much. I still do, but I just don't find the time for it anymore. When I was younger, my mom used to literally come in my room to check on me and see if I was okay because my face would be buried in a book for like hours on end but now like now that i'm an adult i don't have that much time to do it but i made a commitment to read at least one book per month which i think is very much doable i'm actually behind though on my january book because <laughs> there's really no excuse honestly but i'm gonna finish it this week so that i can start my february book i need to figure out which one i'm gonna read for february but I also want to get back into reading fiction because I just keep reading nonfiction. In January, I was actually reading consistently for, for the most part. But I think I need to change the time that I read. So I'm going to wake up earlier to read as opposed to doing it before bed. Because as of right now, I have an alarm on my phone for 9 p.m. to like read every day at 9 p.m. But something is always happening at 9 p.m. in my life. So I think if I do it in the morning, I'll get it done. Nine time is not working out, so I gotta readjust a little bit. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's go do our facial. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
most luxurious step in my skincare routine, this rose water spray. <laughs>